Yes, I know these sunscreens are endorsed and appreciated by almost all influencers and everybody is raving about them. I understand that completely, whatever their reasons may be, and it may be suiting some of them. And I know that there are people out there that got skin darkening or acne or bumps from them because I did get a few DMs and they were asking me what went wrong when everybody is loving these sunscreens, then why did they break out? See, the reasons ecological sunscreens or any other sunscreens that have old chemical filters may be doing harm to your skin is because of either octinoxate, avobenzone, oxosalicylate, homosalate, BP3 or fragrance. Yes, these are the ingredients that may be causing skin darkening, acne, bumps, rashes, all of these problems just because of these few filters and trust me you can switch very easily there are products in the market that have amazing ingredients that are either purely mineral or they are hybrid but they are using the new age chemical filters now starting with the Aqualogica clear invisible sunscreen it has octinoxate octosalicylate and homosalate ingredients that may cause skin darkening acne bumps and a lot of other issues now the other Colorful sunscreens that Ecologica has, the Hydrate sunscreen, the Radiant sunscreen and the Glow sunscreen. These are the sunscreens, that, I'm saying sunscreens way too much. Uh, the ingredient list contains an ingredient called SunCat DE. This SunCat DE is actually a mixture of octinoxate, avobenzone and BP3. So the reason these sunscreens may be causing your skin darkening, acne, bumps and so and so is because of that SunCat DE. See, all of my teenagers, I have used so many different sunscreens. I have used Lotus, I have used Aroma Magic, Joy, Jovi's, Pons, Lacme. Uh, even uh, a few till a few years ago, I've used Nika, and I've used so just so so many sunscreens. And every single time I went out in the sun, I got sun damage, and I could not understand why because I was applying to finger lens sunscreen. I was uh, reapplying it every three hours, and I just Ugh! and then. I realized when I dig deeper that it may be because of the old chemical filters. See, the different side to it is I know there are a lot of people who absolutely adore chemical sunscreens. Their skin loves it. They have absolutely no problem with it. But the thing is, there is a chance five years from now, 10 years from now, your skin may become a photosensitive. See, for some people, for sensitive skin people, their skin will show reactions immediately. Skin darkening, acne, bumps, irritation, patchy skin, a lot of problems. But for some people, it will take a really long time. Over a period of years, your skin may become photosensitive, which means it will get sun damaged easily. You will show more fine lines and wrinkles. You will show more pigmentation, more acne, more bumps. And remember, this may happen over a duration of years. It took me a lot of years of damage to actually learn this, to actually figure out that my skin is actually allergic to these ingredients. And it did take me a lot of time to find the right sunscreen that worked for me. And it turns out my skin is very moody, obviously sensitive and moody, and it only likes mineral sunscreens. Now there's one more Aquilogica sunscreen, their recent launch, the red one, the Detan sunscreen. That one also has octinoxate, avobenzone, and BP3. I don't say that everyone should just stop using chemical sunscreens. No, if it works for you, good for you. But for me, skincare is not just about what's happening to my skin right now. For me, my basic goal is that 10 years from now, 20, 30 years from now, my skin needs to be healthy. It needs to age well. That's what I want and if I know a certain ingredient is going to cause damage to my skin in the long run, I'm going to avoid it. I'm not going to waste my money on it just so that 10 years from now my skin is just going to become photosensitive. This is the reason I do not recommend Aquilogica sunscreens or any other chemical sunscreens that have old age chemical filters because the people watching my content, they are not all going to be like rough and tough you know skinned like they can tolerate everything in the world no there are going to be people that have sensitive skin like mine that may uh, have already experienced the photo damage who are acne prone who are just trying to figure out what is going wrong when they are using everything that other influencers have suggested so if you are trying to figure out what exactly is going wrong with your skincare this may be it and if you do not have any issues with your skin which i by the way i'm very jealous of just 
and don't rub it in all of us sensitive people's faces that your skin can tolerate anything but just a heads up the old chemical filters can may possibly cause long-term damage check the description i'm going to link a list of mineral and hybrid sunscreens with new age chemical filters and also let me know in the comments if you have any kind of questions or queries do like and subscribe thank you so much for watching